a certain minister rose up recently and his objective was to ensure that he dishonors me did strange things and after doing that went to report me to other senior ministers a man came out and raised his two hands and said if i have touched any woman in my congregation the woman is permitted to cry out the church started fighting him when we are supposed to gather and say wow so there's a man that can do this so a man can stand on national international tv platforms and say i have not touched any female in my congregation you know why many preachers cannot do it so there were preachers in that fellowship that felt that i was stealing the show so what they did was that they got a lady to testify against me that i committed fornication with her so the lady testified that I disverging that. So rather than celebrate that the doctrine of separation has begun to gain ground again, they came for the man to kill him. One even threatened. He said, I promise you, you will fall. He said, you will fall for daring to come and boast, you will fall. <laughs> May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> The reason your Christianity has, Christianity has become acceptable by all commerce is that it, does, it doesn't have that cutting edge that can judge the hearts of men. It doesn't have that bright light that can pierce the tickets of darkness. So when they see you, they think you are one of them. The Jews were on their own, doing their own thing. Amen hey said, they have no benefit to you or God, let's kill them. What did they do you? What did they do you? The only accusation he could bring, he said, they don't obey your laws. They are living by a different commandment. They dance to the beat of another drummer. They have pledged allegiance to another flag. So even though they are in your territory, you are not their king. They have another king. That's how they were living. So he said, kill them. He now even told them that if you kill anyone, you are allowed to take the person's property. He said, spoil them. So everybody in, that was not a Jew went to buy instruments, some axes, some spears and all kinds of javelins. They must have started targeting the Jews that had small things they were managing because you kill anyone, you are allowed to spoil them, take their property. Imagine some greedy thieves would have even targeted some people because in war, all is fair. That's what they say in war, that all is fair in war. So they can rape, they can pilfer, they can do all kinds of things because a decree had gone forth. Destroy them, kill them all. So they were drinking. Haman sat down with the king and popped champagne and they were drinking. And the Bible says in Esther chapter 4, Mordecai perceived. Mm. Notice, the Bible did not say he heard. That means when he got the letter, he entered into his office as an intercessor and a prophet. And he saw beyond the letter. He knew that this was not just a mortal handwriting. That the one behind this thing was the devil himself. That the chosen people of the Lord had come under attack. And an attempt to wipe out a generation of men and women who loved God. He saw beyond the written letters. The reason many of you are comfortable is that you can't perceive if you were to perceive beyond what you are seeing in the natural, you will kneel down and you will cry. A man came out and raised his two hands and said, if I have touched any woman in my congregation, the woman is permitted to cry out. The church started fighting him. Pressures of persecutions that came because of the message of the kingdom. And even till now, we are going through persecutions, which is a sign that we are in alignment. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, what the persecutors don't know is that they are making us eligible for heavier measures of the spirit of glory because you cannot overthrow 
what God is doing. The spirit of glory dot rest upon you. Are you there? Third chapter 4 verse 14. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye. Happy are ye. Everything was done to make that meeting flop. I'm not talking about small men. I'm talking about men that, heavy men. Everything was done to make sure that that meeting flopped. And you know what? Because it was of God, it could not be overthrown. That was one of the litmus tests that, that showed me that uh, even if I am called to be with the Lord, what has happened? What is taking place will not die. No. I saw men in authority fight and they lack the ability to overthrow it. He said, happy are you? That this is the, this is the route to authority. This is the route to spiritual capacity. Because if you are going to be an emissary for the kingdom of God and you don't have marks of suffering, you are a liar. There's going to be resistance because you want to stand for God. People will rise up, but it is a sign of good things. You are being recommended for another measure of the spirit of glory that raises up. That, that will discomfit the efforts and the arguments of men to suppress. This is a way of promotion in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. I remember during my youth service, there was a fellowship that I, I felt led to be part of. And um, those were the days that, you know, before I left camp, campus, little anointing had come on my life. So when I went for youth service, it was an opportunity for me to train myself in the law, train myself for ministry. So when we got part of that fellowship, I got involved. And the hand of God began to come on me. Hallelujah. I was a simple teacher and an intercessor at that time. I was not a powerful man. But when I finished teaching, the glory of God will come into that place and all kinds of encounters will begin to take place. In fact, some of them, I, I, I don't even know how it comes. So, there were preachers in that fellowship that felt that I was stealing the show. So, what they did was that they got a lady to testify against me that I committed fornication with her. So, and as my custom is, I don't defend myself. Now, if it is me you are attacking, forget about it, I won't, I won't say anything. But if you, if, you, if you are doing something that will bring injury to the body of Christ, me, I can't sleep. That thing you are doing, do it without putting it online because you are going to damage the body. I will rise up. I have a calling along that line to respond to you. Do you understand what I'm talking about? That my practice you are trying to sell, I will use the Bible and pick it out. This is not, this is contraband. And when I'm doing that kind of business, I don't bring the person into the view. What is wrong is not the person. What is wrong is the my practice. Do you understand so I, that, it's part of my business, okay? So the lady testified that I this virgin that. So the whole congregation said yes. I, I kept quiet. Even my friends, close friends, came to ask me. He said, it, "No, don't worry. That's not what you respond. Don't defend yourself. Allow God. You know God." It just like Jesus was killed and buried and then the court of heaven sat on the matter and then resurrection was the response of the final justice terminal ah, don't be in a hurry to prove don't stand up and say hey. it means if you do that you are you are guilty you are you have something there's something you are trying to preserve so I can't quite then 
I now went to minister somewhere, not too far away. And three crippled people walked in that meeting. And the news of that empowerment, he went back to the fellowship. So the leader said, this man did not have this anointing before. The anointing, we know how God uses him. He raises cripples now. They began to check themselves. Then I went somewhere again to minister. Strange things took place. In fact, that I came back and I was asking God, what are you up to? Are you there? When these things began to take place, then God went to torment the lady that brought the false testimony. The torment was strange and then she came and confessed that, ah, it is this pastor that came to tell me to do. I was not even in that city when the confession broke out. So by the time I came back, the elders came and, you know, were in the house of God. They, even their presentation was even very terrible they couldn't coordinate but you know what God had elevated me that was how God gave me openings to begin to preach in cities and in other places so I, I, I didn't have time to be available for, fellowship, for the fellowship again God opened doors and I began to minister in I fully, and I didn't have time to be available not because I didn't want to be available but there were so many kingdom things that opened up that I had to attend to and when I was already operating on this tangent of grace and power it was one year later that the truth now came out as at the time the truth came out I didn't even need that truth because it was obvious from the verdict of heaven in keeping with the spirit of glory that already rested that heaven has already judged the matter. Are you, are you fully? Don't defend yourself. Allow heaven to judge the matter. A certain minister rose up recently and his objective was to ensure that he dishonors me. Did strange things and after doing that, went to report me to other senior ministers. Are you fully? I kept quiet. You did what you did. You didn't respond. Then you now went and reported. The story has not ended. When the story ends, I'll come back here and tell you this is what happened, this is what happened, and this is what God did. I'm waiting on the court of heaven for final verdict. Yeah. I have, I'm patient because I believe that God is a better judge than your own canon fleshly response let's allow god step in when we are supposed to gather and say wow so there's a man that can do this so a man can stand on national international tv platforms and say i have not touched any female in my congregation you know why many preachers cannot do it so rather than celebrate that the doctrine of separation has begun to gain ground again. They came for the man to kill him. One even threatened. He said, I promise you, you will fall. He said, you will fall. For daring to come and boast, you will fall. <laughs> he will wait long. We may even be dancing in heaven when his own time on the earth has finished and my father is still standing. Strong. He will never fall. Never. Because the one that watches over Israel, he neither slumbers nor sleeps. If God were to ever show you what you look like in the spirit, if he were to show you what he's trying to make with your life, if you were to see it, just a glimpse of it, nobody will beg you to do 40 days. You will begin to cry. Give me this thing. The reason you are not crying is because you have not perceived. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> Thank you for watching that video. I know you are blessed. I pray that the Lord will give us understanding. Uh, this is a great privilege for us to listen to the voice of God. And I pray the Lord will make us the doer of the word and not the error holy in the name of Jesus. Please do have to like our video, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever we have a video like this. And also, 
drop your comments i pray that the lord will help us may the lord give you understanding <laughs>